Hey Maverick, what was that? Uh, what was that moment like for you when you hear your name called and being there with your family? And I know it's not a normal draft, but you were you were able to have that that moment. What was that like? Uh, it was amazing. You know, I'm I'm waiting for this moment since since I'm young, and uh, uh, I was pretty 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 happy uh, when I I heard my my name, and uh, and it's a moment that I will remember for the rest of my life. All right, next we'll go to Mike Heika. Mike? Hey, Maverick. Um, a lot of people have told us you're very smart on the ice. How do you develop that? Is that the way you watch the game? Is it the way you've been coached? Uh, where do you get that vision from? I think it's a little mix, you know. Uh, since I'm young, I had a pretty good vision, but uh, I really like to watch hockey, and uh, I learned a lot of stuff uh, when I watch hockey. So I think it's a, it's a, it's a good mix, and... Uh, this is one of the reasons why I have a good hockey sense. All right, next we'll go to Saad Youssef. Saad? Hey, Maverick. Uh, you say you watch a lot of hockey. What, what are Who are some of the players that you like to watch to either model your game off of or learn from? Uh, player like Braden Point or Nick Suzuki is two type of player that I really like to watch, and uh, it's it's the good good player that compete on the ice, and I really like how how Suzuki see see the the ice and how smart he is. Okay, next we will go to Matt DeFranks. Matt, hey Maverick, uh, congratulations. Uh, the stars talked a little bit about your your farming background. Uh, can you just kind of talk about what? That that's like in your day to day life, and uh, how much that impacts, uh, you know, maybe your work ethic on the ice as well. Um, it's a, it's it's tough sometimes to, to be on a farm. So uh, no matter what, what happened, uh, every every morning you, you need to wake up and just got the farm. So it's a little bit like hockey. Every day, every day is a new day. Every day you need to work. So uh, just like tonight, I just get draft in the. By the Dallas Stars, but uh, I know that tomorrow I will need to to be sharp on the ice and have a good workout. So I think it's bring me a lot of discipline. Okay, next we'll go to Stefan. Stefan. Hey Maverick, félicitations pour uh, cette sélection là. Uh, je prendrai pas trop de ton temps. Sorry for my French questions. It's not gonna be long, uh, guys. Maverick, dis-moi, comment t'as vécu ça? T'étais sur le bord d'être obligé d'attendre à demain. Dallas, c'est pas une équipe qui repêche souvent au Québec. Est-ce que tu avais un bon feeling quand les, les Stars sont arrivés? Um, je te dirais que tu sais, je m'attendais pas trop à ça. Uh, c'est sûr que je suis, je suis très content de t'avoir été repêché par, par les Stars. Uh, J'avais hâte, hâte d'entendre mon nom, puis uh, je suis vraiment content que ça soit arrivé ce soir. Là. All right, next we'll go back to Sean Shapiro. Sean? Maverick, did you have an idea that uh, Dallas might be a spot for you? Like, did you have many conversations with them? Is it something where when you're sitting down, did you think maybe the Stars could be one of the teams that would draft you? Uh, not a lot. It's, it was a little bit, a little bit like the, the other team. I, I don't have a – I didn't have a, have a good uh, – a feeling about a particular team, and uh, but uh, when they they was uh, on the stage, uh, I was ready to, ready to hear my name. Okay, next we'll go back to Saad Youssef. Saad. Hey, Maverick, uh, your old coach, Coach Renaud, said that, you know, he really liked the way that you would create for other players, but also you obviously led, uh, you know, in scoring as well. How do you balance that of, of getting your teammates involved, but also scoring goals on your own? Um, I think it's – I need to, to make a difference between when uh, when you need to, to shoot the puck or, or when you, you need to pass it, and uh, I think I have a good mix on – on that and uh, it's helped me to sometimes just uh, bring other players better and uh, sometimes just be a goal scorer. 
All right, Sean, we'll go back to you again. Yeah, we can kind of hear it in the background there. What's the uh, reaction for your family like and everything like that right now? Obviously, it sounds like it's pretty, obviously, it's a fun, big evening for you, but a big evening for them too. What's what's that like for them? Um, they're really proud of me. Um, we're all together right now. Um, so can explain it's just amazing what happened tonight and uh, uh yeah and we'll go back to Saad again Saad go ahead Maverick uh, obviously you had two older sisters and a younger brother I'm curious how was the sibling dynamic for you growing up was there any kind of competitiveness with your with your older sisters or your younger brother or how, how was that dynamic for you um it was uh, we're pretty close together, so uh, it was fun. Sometimes we were uh, two against two, two the two boys against the two girls. So uh, we had a lot of uh, fun, and uh, my two sisters and my brother were were with, with me tonight. And uh, yeah, I really love uh, really love them. All right, do we have any more questions in English for Maverick? All right, we'll go to Sean Shapiro. Sean? Yeah, I'll ask one more. Just what, what's this been like for you kind of going from the season shuts down to the, uh, to, to the stoppage and everything like that? How much have you been able to skate? What, what, what has the last four or five months been like for you since, um, since the shutdown of the season and trying to prepare for a draft and whenever a next season starts? What's kind of the day-to-day -day been like for you and things along those lines? Um, the, the first two months, uh, I was doing my training at home. And then after that, uh, I went to, to the University Laval with GP, uh, he able to do my, my workout and, uh, I jump on the ice three, three to four times a week. So, uh, I did that during, uh, June, uh, June to August and, uh, I'm back to Shawi since uh, one month. So, uh, I stay in shape and, uh, yeah, I feel good. All right, and we'll go to Saad Youssef again. Saad? The last one for me. Uh, Maverick, <clears throat> um, obviously the Stars are coming off of a pretty deep playoff run all the way to the Stanley Cup final. How much did you watch of that, and what did you think of the team as you were watching? Um, I, I watch probably uh, every game. Um, I really like uh, how they play. They, they, were, they were tied together. The goalie was good. Defense was good. Escanet is a pretty good player. Um, offensively, with Ben Sagan and Pavelski, uh, three exceptional players. So, uh, and they play really good defensively. So, uh, I learned a lot from from this team, and I'm really proud to to be part of uh, this organization. All right. Next, we will go uh, to Guillaume with some French questions. Salut Maverick, félicitations premièrement. Euh, je voulais savoir, tu en as glissé un mot en anglais, mais euh, bon, comment ça s'est passé la soirée euh, avec ta famille? Il y a eu quand même une explosion de joie là, quand tu as été, euh, été sélectionné. Puis ensuite, euh, deuxième question pour toi, est-ce que tu as vu la réaction de tes coéquipiers euh, dans votre maison de, de confinement à Shawi? Euh, C'est sûr que ça, ça a été une, une soirée quand même assez stressante. J'avais hâte, hâte d'entendre mon nom. Euh, au moins, j'étais avec, euh, avec toute ma famille. Donc, euh, ça a été plaisant. Puis, un coup que j'ai entendu mon nom, j'étais très content. Puis, je pense que ma famille était fière de moi. Puis, euh, côté de, de les boys, euh, j'ai vu ça j'ai vu ça tantôt euh, vite fait. Euh, j'étais assez impressionné de, de voir leur action. Euh, les boys, c'est mes meilleurs amis. Donc, euh, euh, des très bons, très bons coéquipiers. Donc, euh, je suis très, très content de, de voir qu'ils qu étaient contents pour moi. All right. Are there any other questions? We'll go to Nicholas Landry. Salut, Marek. Est-ce que tu m'entends bien? Oui. Salut, Guillaume. Ben, tu as parlé de la soirée que tu viens de passer, juste pour euh, enchaîner là-dessus. Il euh, y a eu une grosse réaction aussi chez, euh, avec ta famille et tout ça quand tu étais drafté. Est-ce que tu sentais la tension monter à mesure que la première ronde euh, euh, progressait de la, de la, avec la, la place où tu étais... Euh, classé, puis tout ça, 
Les gars disent souvent que le, le, le rang, ce n'est pas trop important, c'est juste un chiffre. Est-ce que c'est important pour toi de sortir euh, ce soir et de ne pas attendre à demain avant de, de te sélectionner? Euh, c'est sûr que oui, tu euh, es un compétiteur, donc euh, tu veux sortir le, le plus tôt que tu veux. Je pense que c'est juste, euh, juste humain, donc euh, c'est sûr que j'avais hâte d'entendre mon nom. Euh, mais rendu là, euh, j'avais plus de contrôle, puis euh, je suis con très content d'avoir été sélectionné au 30e rang. Euh, si je peux me permettre d'enchaîner avec une deuxième, tantôt le, le directeur du recrutement des Stars parlait de toi, il vantait tes qualités de, de joueur de hockey, c'est sûr, mais euh, il disait que physiquement, tu avais encore beaucoup de maturité à aller chercher, euh, ça, au niveau de ta, ta, ta shape et tout ça. Euh, ben, Est-ce que tu es d'accord avec ça, puis peut-être me parler un peu de du progrès que tu sens que tu as fait à ce niveau-là dans la dernière année, puis des objectifs que tu t'es fixé dans le gym euh, cette année là, pour prendre, prendre de la masse et tout ça? Euh, oui, c'est sûr que c'est sûr que c'est dans le fond, il y a amplement raison. Euh, depuis, que, depuis que je suis au niveau midget, euh, côté euh, physique, euh, je continue de m'améliorer. Euh, je mets les efforts dans, dans le gym, puis je pense que j'ai encore, euh, encore beaucoup à améliorer. Donc, euh, je, vois, je vois une meilleure progression jusqu'à maintenant, puis je dois continuer comme ça.